guys and gals, we are getting ready to proceed with step two on the 50 year old Marlin project. Birchwood KC Warmwood instructions. We've done step one, apply the oil, the true oil, to the finish. Um, and we are ready for step two, which says, Working in 4x4 four four sections, coat the area with true oil, gunstock finish, and wet sand with 180 wet or dry paper. This wet sanding creates a slurry of wood dust and finish that works its way into the pores. I hope it's talking about the wood pores and not my finger pores. You'll feel and hear the sandpaper cutting. If the finish gets tacky, simply apply more true oil finish. Continue wet sanding the 4 before sections until the entire stock is covered with the slurry. Work it in small circles with your fingers to drive it into the grain. Wrap up by wiping the excess slurry off with a paper towel across the grain. This ensures good grain filling. Let the stock dry for approximately 24 hours, then repeat the process if necessary to fill remaining open pores and wipe away all slurry when complete. Your stock is now totally filled, protected, and ready for the finishing coats. Okay, we're going to start off with a little bit of oil, and I've got some 600. I'm obviously not going to uh, have you watch the, the whole thing, but uh, we'll get started here with a 4x4 four four section and see where that goes. Okay? Alrighty. I'm just trying to create some slurry here. I don't know if I'm going to create much slurry or not, but we'll just see what happens. Well, there may be some slurry going on there. It says if it gets tacky, apply more oil, so that's what I'm going to do. I think maybe the stock is so smooth already that it's not cutting anything with the sandpaper. Just realized the problem, I misread it. Uh, it says to use the 180 grit sandpaper, so I'm going to try that and see how that works. See if that creates a little bit more of the alleged slurry. Oh yeah, I can feel that cutting a little bit more. Seems kind of counterproductive though to go back and use a 180 after we've already gone through the 180, through the 280 and the 320 and the 400. So, I know this is boring for you, so I'll turn it off for now and we'll get back in a minute. Don't go anywhere. Okay, we have finished step two and applied uh, the oil and done the sanding process. Uh, I don't know if you can see it very well on here or not, but uh, <coughs> excuse me, it does appear that uh, some of the grain has been uh, filled in with the slurry, and there was some slurry uh, 
because you can see the wood tone on here if it was just oil it would it would just be clear so there is uh, we were cutting some some wood and uh, hopefully filling it into the the pores and we're going to set it up and let it uh, let it rest after I put a nick in it there uh, it's okay uh, let it uh, go back and absorb all that for the next 24 hours and we'll see where we are at that point we may need to do this again we may not so thanks for subscribing thanks for watching thanks for being a part of this project stay safe and uh, I will talk to you soon Thank you.